we're wrapping up here in Mitchell's Plain in Tafelsuk, where we've written out, we've, we've painted over all of the gang graffiti, and we've replaced it with the hands of the community to show that it's the community that takes ownership of their community and of the, uh, what happens here in this community. This doesn't belong to gangsters, it's not gangster yeah. territory, mm. this is the community's yeah. territory. Mm. But what this community needs more than anything else mm. is a police minister who's going to be on their side, mm. walking the journey with them fighting crime. Mm. But we don't have that. Uh, We've got a police minister who tells activists when they stand up and hold them accountable to shut up. Yes. We've got a police minister who's more interested in the glory of Instagram and Twitter um, and of getting the media headline yeah. than actually fighting crime. Yeah. A minister who's more interested in disarming ordinary citizens yeah. than assisting them to fight yeah. violent crime. A minister yeah. under whose watch every single category of crime has moved in the wrong direction. A minister who makes promises and never delivers. And I think the best legacy that Nelson Mandela can leave uh, today is for President Ramaphosa to fire Becky Kele and to give this South African community a police minister who's going to get up every morning and not fight against them, but fight for them. That's what they need. That's what they need. And I'm very proud that we joined today by Ian Cameron from Action Society because he is one of countless ordinary South Africans who've taken a stand against crime, who are actually working on the ground, doing the things that government should be doing, but also showing people that crime is not somebody else's problem, it's all of our problem, and that we're only gonna tackle it together. So Ian, it's great to have you here today, and thanks for joining us, and uh, we're really proud of the work that you've done, and thanks for what you're doing in the community. We don't see you as somebody who needs to shut up, we need to see you as somebody who needs to keep speaking out, keep telling the truth, and uh, and working for the community, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, John. It, it's a privilege for me to be here today. I think the... Um, the great thing to down a light and no one has told me to shut up today <laughs> and no one has told me to sit down and luckily there are no doors to get out of so I, um, uh, so, so no on a, on a serious note um, I think what happened two three weeks ago is not just it's not an Ian thing or an action society thing we appreciate the support but I think our frustration comes with the fact that uh, crime has been politicized by someone like the minister yeah. and yeah. and according to me and, and what we've spoken before today is that there's no space for that in what's happening on ground level yeah. I, I don't uh, you know let me use an example two days ago we saw the premier of Gauteng trying to get into Alexandra and the taxis blocked them off and he had a six vehicle motorcade what makes that man or the Minister of Police more special than any one of the people in this community? Why, why, do, why do they get special attention? And I'm tired of seeing that. I think that's the frustration. And, um, and, and what I want to congratulate the community of Mitchell's Plain, and I am biased towards the com community of Mitchell's Plain, is because I've, I've, I've hardly worked in communities that take the ownership of their community like what I've experienced here. This morning when we walked a patrol in, in Lente here, I'm always astounded that elderly ladies can outwalk me any day of the week, um, at any, any time of the day or night. And in, incredibly active and fit. So I, th I think that's the message we want to take today, with or without the minister. We are taking back our streets. Our legislation allows us to do that. And we will do whatever we can with the means and ends that we have to our um, availability to, to do what we, what we need to do to take back our streets. So there you have it, folks. Thanks to Ian. Thanks to the community of Mitchell's Plain for having us here today. This is one of many projects that, the, that we're involved with in the community. Remember, crime is not somebody else's problem. It's all of our problem. And it starts with getting a police minister who's going to be on our side. Please check our website for our, our campaign to uh, get uh, President Ramaphosa to fire Becky Trele. www.trelemustgo.co.za Action Society have also got one. By having a united voices communities, we can fight for a police minister who's going to fight for us. And that's what we need.